Okay. I'm going to try attempt is to get Raspberry BMC onto the Raspberry Pi. It comes with an SD card slot, which you're going to need to load up Raspberry BMC, which is on this website. You're going to need something along the lines of class 4, I think is a, the minimum you can use. What I'm planning to use is 16 gigabyte class 10, just for a little bit of extra speed and reliability. So what you first need to do, you need to go onto a, a raspbmc.com website, go to download. There are instructions on how to install on Windows or Mac, you can follow those very easily. Choose one of the mirrors um, to download the, I believe it's a RAW file. Um, from there on it's pretty simple. So once you've downloaded that, you should be left with Raspbm2, uh, BMC, sorry. Win32 in my case. Extract there, I've already done it so I'll extract again. And then you're left with the installer files um, and all the other stuff you don't really have to touch. So we've got run the installer. Um, this is the time we get to plug in your SD card, refresh, make sure you're not going to write to anything else because this will ruin a hard drive or another SD card that you got plugged in. There you go, I've gone ahead and I've plugged it in and it's showing up here. So we're going to cancel that, refresh, there's the SD card I've just plugged in and click install. Obviously in my case I've already done this so it's saying I don't really need to re-download download the image. Um, so I can click no. Obviously if you're going to do it the first time, the install or the download even will take a little while to, to download but then it will download from the website and install it all for you on this program. If it does prompt you, just click next or yes or whatever, just it's pretty self explanatory and it help you along the way. There you go. Usually it won't be this quick, as I said I've already downloaded the image so it didn't need to download again. It says it was successfully installed to your SD card. You can now boot to your system with the card and continue with the setup. And this is where it becomes a little bit longer to set up. So now we're done. On the Windows PC side, I can eject the SD card. And that's it. The operating system is on there. So you can simply plug it into this. There you go. And we can get this connected up and uh, continue to set up.